Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today I wanted to do a good old Amazon find 10 favorites and oh my god I need to stop spinning. I knew it was a bad idea to use this chair But anyway, I feel like I haven't done one in so long. I've been accumulating so many good things and Amazon is basically doing like a second prime day in October So I wanted to do a ton of videos just like I do for prime day So definitely let me know what you're shopping for but today I have like a good mix of things that are pretty unique and i haven't seen anyone online talk about them so i'm so excited to share everything will be linked down below i need to stop rambling because we have too many things check out my amazon shop if you haven't already and follow me on instagram and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it this would have been a good moment too did i say swing to spin if you watch my channel, you know, I have like a very unhealthy obsession for pink. So when I saw that this was a Lululemon dupe and it came in this like super bright, obnoxious, hot pink color, I had to grab it. I do have the real align and y'all, this feels literally buttery, soft, identical. There's no logos or anything on this one. So it's not like a DH gate dupe, but it just feels very, very similar. Like the quality, the fit. I will say this one is definitely more of like a V-neck style. So if you want more support or you don't want to show, you know, a little cleavage, then this might not be the one for you. I got a size eight and it comes with pads and also it has like a double line so it has some support but i didn't want to work out in this i mostly wanted it for like lounging and athleisure and i just love this color i found another alternative for the tote bag and i love this one i cannot believe it it was prime shipping free return so i felt like there was no risk if it didn't look good or if the quality was bad but y'all this is like a great material it's I don't know if it's real leather, I really cannot confirm or deny that, but it's like a leathery material. I love the fact that it doesn't say, you know, Marc Jacobs like in huge letters. I actually prefer, you know, it like this. And then the back has this little thing. It says the style tote bag location NYC year 1984. I don't know why it says that, but there it is, a perfect neutral color. This is the color of my dreams. I mean, it literally goes so well with this outfit. It has a longer strap for crossbody purposes or on your shoulder. And then, you know, the handles and a zipper, which is key. I have this exact same bag in the canvas version. And I talked about this recently, but my daughter and my canvas bags have like a misunderstanding going on. And she is determined to making them dirty at all times. So I'm opting for things that are easier to clean and this is one of them. It was, I think, $48 with tax and everything. So such a steal, very spacious. I'm just truly obsessed. Like I cannot recommend this enough, obsessed. I posted about this on my Instagram story and I was getting so many funny replies. And one of them was this picture of Ross Geller. And that's really what I looked like the first time we tried this. So I was spending 50, almost $60, like twice a month at least on spray tans. And while I love it, and I will continue to them for like more special occasions. So I decided to invest with a gift card on uh at home spray tan setup and i got this machine that came with the norvell tanning solution and obviously like the spray gun for like a hundred dollars i believe and then i also got which i cannot hold it's huge this pod that prevents the actual tanning solution to get anywhere in our room or wherever i spray tan so my husband has been spray tanning me i think yesterday was like the fourth time and it's pretty natural like it doesn't look insane there's definitely a learning curve to it we had to look up some tutorials you know but it's saving me money and i do like it so much better than a regular like self tanning mousse and my favorite part is that this solution that you can buy like on your own y'all it fades beautifully like i don't get cracking skin if you know you know i don't get like orange patches anywhere it's perfect violet like neutral tone i love it so i'm a spray tan at home girl you know 
I've been doing a series on my TikTok called doing things I've been avoiding. It's basically like me going through my to-do list of things that I always put off. And one of those things was organizing a super, super messy closet that's in my office. So I got this to solve that issue and it's just so incredibly satisfying. $12 on Amazon maybe. And you can get different sizes. I think I have the 24. All game changer. I love the fact that I can see all the colors of the vinyl I have. I'm just finding so many good organizational items on Amazon. So I definitely need to do a part two of this video where I talk about all my favorite finds. So coming soon. Um, <laughs> I've done a few videos, you know, maybe perhaps talking down on this cup. And you might be thinking, Philo, why would you do that? And great question. The way I'm justifying it in my head is because of y'all. So if anyone's to blame here, maybe it's you. <laughs> No, I really wanted to try this cup out. I don't understand the hype um, or I guess I didn't until I bought it and more than anything I wanted to have it so I could physically compare it to other cups that are more affordable Like I do think this is a great cup. It's so lightweight It keeps your water or your drink nice and cool or nice and hot. I love the handle, etc Great. Is this worth 40 bucks? No, like in no world is this, I can't justify that. You know what I mean? Did I do it anyway? Yes. I'm going to try my best to like compare it every single time I find an alternative for it. And I have a feeling these will go on sale soon because this is like the older version and Amazon had them in stock. They still do. They have different sizes and I do want to get the little one for Olivia just because it's so cute. But ignore the one rogue black nail. I, I can't even explain it. Anyway, I did a video touching things with my hands. <laughs> what? And a lot of people were asking about my nails, like that y'all said they look good, how do I do them, etc. And here it is, y'all. I just got a brand new pack. Some of them are in my vanity, but I got a brand new pack. These are just fake nails I get off Amazon. It is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. I get this huge pack. I think it's 888 pieces. What a specific number. And there's so many colors. I really like these because the length is pretty short. I don't love long nails and I like rounded nails. I don't like square or like any pointiness or anything like that. These last me anywhere from like a week to almost two weeks if I really take care of them. I have a problem where I bite my nails a lot. So my real nails are super short and ugly and not good. So I wear these to mostly stop myself from biting my nails, but also because they look incredibly nice and presentable and I can switch out the colors. So I just use a glue. I will leave it in the links below, but that is my secret. I really cannot make a video of me applying them or anything because like I said, I'm extremely embarrassed of my real nails, but there's no science to it as long as like you your nails are clean and you use like a good glue and you don't like run your nails under hot water even though I take super hot showers and they still last me like pretty long um, I think these are a steal there's 888 for like 12 bucks I just have to show you my cute little coffee corner because so many things are from Amazon that I love so starting off we have this Technically, I didn't get this from Amazon. I got this from Home Goods, but you could get it on Amazon. It is their Bambino Plus machine, and y'all, it's incredible. Definitely worth the hype. Definitely worth the investment. I got it $200 off, so highly recommend if you've been thinking of investing in a new coffee machine. And then we have this. My coffee syrup dispensers are beautiful and very aesthetically pleasing. They have the brass pump and they came with all these really pretty labels i will say aesthetically they're perfect they're glass and all but the pumps are like a splash so it does take quite a few pumps to actually get like the amount of syrup you would get with something like this so that's the only thing to keep in mind and then the other two things little espresso cups because i never drink espresso from the cup i usually always always pour it over ice so i got this one that comes in a two pack and they're also glass and then we have a milk frothing pitcher that is also brass just to complement everything and then the back board is also amazon as well also amazon as well redundant yes it's from amazon i've tried so so 
many cups for Olivia. All of those cutie silicone, aesthetically pleasing, you know, baby pink, like this color. The straw isn't weighted, they're hard to clean. I could complain about this endlessly. Actually, I was about to speak Spanish, that's how angry I am. Actually, I could totally, totally, I'm so passionate about this, start a business on baby cups, like sippy cups, because, ugh, okay? But anyway, digress. This comes in a two pack for $9. It's spill proof, like literally nothing, nothing comes off, which is just stunning. Super easy to clean, the straw has two parts, so you can just stick them in your dishwasher, brand spanking new. Are they super cute and minimalistic? No, but I don't care. Like, I literally don't care. And then, huh, and then I stick them in my bag and guess what? Nothing spills. I cannot tell you how many things I've ruined, including this camera, because of Olivia's sippy cups. So, am I a little heated? Yes, but if you have a baby, a toddler, anything of the sort, you don't want to spend a ton of money and you want something that works, go get yourself this by Chico. Chico? I don't know. 10 out of 10. Wow. Because I got heated, get it, get it. Um, wow, I am losing my mind. I have this. Olivia has gotten sick quite a few times and if you've ever had a sick baby or a sick toddler or kid, you might know how difficult it is to get them to cooperate to take their temperature. Truly mission impossible. So at one of those random flus that she got, I was like, I've had enough and I got this. This is one of those, you know, thermometers that you just like swipe and it tells you the temperature. And I find it to be extremely accurate. I've compared it to the rectal temperature that we sometimes, you know, take just in case and extremely accurate, which is really, really good. I find that when you do it like kind of like on the side going down, it's the most accurate. Like maybe right here is not super, you know, exact, but so much better than all the other ones I've tried. I've tried those like point and shoot <laughs> ones, you know, and I don't find those to be like extremely accurate. Say accurate one more time. The point is it's maybe $10. It's worth it um, just for like not torturing them alone. But also like I've done this on myself and my husband when we've been sick, like it's really, really good. And I just love how compact it is and I don't have to stick it anywhere, which is, Olivia's favorite part, honestly. And, hmm, makes a great toy. There's nothing she loves more than trying to find the number here. So like sweeping it somewhere. Like I said in my last vlog, I am currently in my hosting era. So I wanted to get some cookbooks just because as much as I like finding recipes online, there's something about a physical cookbook as well as like a physical book and things like that. I feel like it just gives you a different feel. So I got this one and it, I have like a really hard time cooking without meats or proteins like that. So I decided to get this one that says the forest feast and it's like a vegetarian um, recipe book um, that's specifically for like gatherings and hosting and things like that. So I'm super excited. I got it on sale. I think it was like $12 and they have so many good sides and things like that. And I just love how this looks. Like I have it displayed on the kitchen. It looks adorable. So please do let me know what your favorite cookbooks are because I am, I am in that mindset right now of just buying cookbooks. This is 27, y'all. So guys, that's everything for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Do not fear. I have a little too many more things to share with y'all because I cannot be stopped. I can't stop shopping in general. If you've been watching my vlogs out of hand, but especially on Amazon this time of year, I get crazy. So stay tuned for giveaways for Prime early sale or something, um, which is much better than Prime day when it's really two days, but I digress. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss out on anything that I have coming up. And obviously follow me on Instagram. That's usually where I do little giveaways on my story and where I announce like flash deals and all that good stuff. But I should have like a ton of Amazon specific videos coming y'all's way. Once again, let me know what you're shopping for so I can either do a giveaway with those things or try them out for y'all. And yeah, that's everything for today's video. I will talk to you guys very soon in my next one. Ha! I stopped swiveling until now. Bye. Oh God.
Ew. <laughs> Why do I look like that?